Welcome to a walk through Acts with Pastor Kyle. Glad you're here with us today. We're going to be in Acts chapter 15, looking at really the first big conflict in the church. Let me set the scene for you. Paul and Barnabas have returned from their missionary. They're back at the church in Antioch. They've reported on what God has done and how Gentiles have come to faith. And some men in the church in Antioch have basically come and said to, to the church there that these people aren't really followers of Christ. They can't be saved because they haven't been circumcised. And we know circumcision is part of the law. It's part of, of Jewish tradition and their interaction with God, their covenant with God. And so if you remember, Christianity is an exclusively Jewish uh, religion up until this time when Paul and, and Barnabas go on these journeys. So you've got some people that have some conflict here. Can you be uncircumcised, essentially not Jewish, and follow this Jewish Messiah, Jesus? And so they've come to the church. They've uh, complained about this. They've kind of stirred up some trouble. And so Paul and Barnabas take off on a journey to Jerusalem where they're going to meet with the apostles and basically kind of uh, they convene a council and they're going to, con to, to determine, um, you know, what, what makes one a follower of Christ. Essentially, do you have to be circumcised and follow the law? And so that's, that's what's happened as we enter into our story today. So our highlight today is going to be Acts chapter 15, verse 9. It's Peter speaking, and it says, He, God, made no distinction between us and and them cleansing their hearts by faith. All right, so Peter is talking to this council. He's heard the argument from uh, the Jewish people. He's heard Paul and uh, Barnabas report and give their argument, and, and he's now speaking to this group of apostles that has convened in Jerusalem, and he says, God made no distinction between us and them, cleansing their hearts by faith. So what Paul is saying is that God does not care if you are Jew or Gentile. What he cares about is your faith. Do you believe that Jesus is the risen Savior, the Son of God? And that is what is the measure of one's fellowship of Jesus. It is their faith. It is not following the law. It's not following custom. Ultimately, it's not being circumcised. And this is a huge step in the church because being guided by the Spirit, they determine that Christ, as he has stated, that salvation is through faith in Christ. There are no extras, there's no laws, there's no rules, there's no things that you have to do in order to become a follower of Christ. It is through faith alone that comes that, that brings salvation. So salvation comes from believing. This is a tremendous step in, in kind of the history of the church, in the solidification of, of taking what Jesus had said when he was alive, when he was walking the earth, when he was with the apostles, and then applying that to all the peoples of the earth. And so... What we have here is this this situation where people brought up things that were that were extra salvific. There are things that don't bring salvation, and they were trying to apply them. And this is going to happen throughout the history of the church. It's happening today. People say you have to do this, and you have to do this. And what Peter, guided by the Holy Spirit, in this assembly, this, this uh, council, decided is that no, there aren't extra things you have to do. To have faith, not because they decided this, but because the Spirit led them to this based on Jesus' words that it's faith in Him alone that brings salvation. So, how does that apply to us today? What does that mean for a follower of Christ in 21st century, uh, living in the 21st century world today? What does that mean? Simply this rest easy, follower of Christ. Your salvation is secure because of your faith in who Jesus is, not in what you do. The beautiful thing about following Christ is you can't do enough to earn it. There's nothing you can do to earn it. What you can do is believe that Jesus is who he says he is. You know, very simple concept, and we, we try to add things to it, but it's really simple. You turn from your sin, you believe that Jesus is who he says he is, and you surrender to him as Lord. So that kind of turn, believe, surrender. We've taught that as a Christian church now for, for 2,000 years, but... People for history, for eons, have tried to add into that. And this is just a, a place we see that happening in Scripture. But your application today is rest easy, Christian, because you simply have to believe. You have to have faith. And that's what the council decided in, in Acts chapter 15. And, and that's what it is today. And it hasn't changed. And it hasn't changed because a council decided it. It hasn't changed because Peter made a speech. It hasn't changed because it's the words of Christ. He is the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through him. He is the way to salvation. 
no work you can do. And so this should be a, a, a beautiful, relaxing day for you. It should be a, a day, if you're watching this video, where you can take a deep breath and give God praise because he saved you because you can't save yourself. All right, so that's your application today. And let's respond to the Lord with a heart of thanksgiving and a heart of gratefulness. Heavenly Father, let us rest easy knowing that our faith in you is enough. You have paid the penalty for our sin. You have done all the work yourself. There's no work that we can do. There's no tradition that we have to follow. Lord, you did it. And our job is to believe and to have faith, Lord. So God, we thank you for this. We thank you that you've given us this gift of salvation through your son and that, that it's, just a, it's just a matter of our faith, Lord. It is not a matter of our works. And we give you praise for that in Jesus' name. Hey, if you're not a follower of Jesus, but this is something that's, that's moving your heart. You listen to this. Hey, turn from, from, from your sin. Turn from your old life. Believe that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And surrender to him as Lord. That's, that's what it takes to be a follower of Christ. That's all. Doesn't matter what you've done. Doesn't matter what you will do. That's what Jesus is looking for. So I, I challenge you and encourage you to do that today. If God's moved your heart that way, hey, let me know. Send me a message. Put something in the comments. We'll get in touch with you. We'll follow up with you. Uh, excited to continue teaching uh, all of you through the, the book of Acts. Tomorrow is going to be an outstanding day. We're going to look at Acts 16. It's one of my favorite places in Acts because it's when the gospel enters the European continent where I spent nearly 10 years of my life ministering to people and I can't wait to share with you what God has taught me in those passages. Have a great day. I'll see you back tomorrow for a walk through Acts with Pastor Kyle.